So basically, you know, when Dr. Wang was in University of Florida, Dr. Mm -hmm. Wang studied um, cell biology, mm -hmm. developmental biology. What does developmental biology mean? Yeah. Means how the embryo is developed. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I do. Yeah. And then Dr. Wang entered into the molecular biology field. And so uh, through those studies, you know, Dr. Wang started to understand how human body is formed. Mm. Now, in the developmental biology field, they only talk about the, you know, manifestation of how the body is formed. Just like what I said, the three layers mm, yeah. develop into different parts of the mm. human body. But it doesn't reveal what is the force behind the, that yeah, change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People will ask, oh, why the cell will divide into three layers? Mm. Why each layer will only go into very specific destination of different, mm. you know, yeah. uh, parts of the body. And so, basically, the molecular biology side and the cell biology side gradually, you know, Dr. Wang in those fields understand that it is because at the molecular level, there are some very powerful molecules. Mm -hmm. How powerful they are. For example, if you inject a little drop of one kind of purified molecule under the skin, mm -hmm. under the skin, you can then see a piece of bone formed. Look, mm. the skin has no bone, right? Yeah. But if you inject some molecules under the skin, mm. then the skin will start to grow a piece of bone. Oh. So what kind of molecule it is? It's called a bone morphogenetic proteins. And then some molecules, if you knock out the gene, let them unable to function, in the mice, when you do experiment, mm -hmm. you can find that the mice has no eye. Mm -hmm. If you knock out the DNA of one kind of TGF beta superfamily, the mice grow out, uh, is born without eyes. And then if you uh, knock out another TGF beta superfamily molecule and prevent their function, the uh, mice will have trouble uh, of the bone. And then sometimes the mice will come out with uh, the muscle to be doubled. So each one of them are in charge of the formation and the, and the maintenance of the different uh, organs of the body. So the TGA beta family protein, they're very little, but they can do very powerful work. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's called molecular kings because they can instruct the cell to become bone cell, eye cell, muscle cell, blood cell, you know what I mean? So they, they are very powerful molecules. So Dr. Wang went to Harvard in the year of 1993 uh, with the uh, question of how to cure cancer. Mm -hmm. Now, why Dr. Wang want to study those molecular kings is because those molecular kings, they are control. They are, they are the king to make sure the cells all live in harmony. Look, in the human world, if you have a king, what is the king's job? The king's job is to make sure his nation's people living in harmony yeah. and the prosperity and the, and the peace, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. To protect the rights of the people, correct? Mm -hmm. So that's what the TGA beta superfamily king molecules, they do. So if they don't do well, if they, if they give an order and the messengers of the TGA beta mm -hmm. uh, in the cell, they don't listen, they don't behave, mm -hmm. they always develop cancer. So the TGA beta king molecules, they are considered to be, you know, the tumor suppressors. They are the key tumor suppressors. Okay. And uh, especially the downstream messengers, SMAD. Yesterday when we were translating, right? The SMAD, S-M-A-D, right? Oh, the yeah, SMAD yeah, yeah. protein. The SMAD protein, if you look at the cancer cells, you always can find some problems of the SMADs. Mm. Like the pancreatic cancer, it's because of one of the SMAD called SMAD4 is missing mm. or dysfunctional. Then the people will develop pancreatic cancer, mm. you know. And, uh, you know, like uh, Mr. Song, he had a colon cancer. And most likely his SMAD3 didn't work well. Mm. SMAD3 was having trouble, okay. So the SMADs... How we make the strong... The SMAD. How to make the SMAD strong? Yeah. Usually, you don't need to make them strong because they are normal. Mm. They are as long as they are normal, 
they are working well and then the body will not have cancer yeah, but the white yeah. mass become bad yeah, yeah. usually has something to do with a um, mutation Nutrition. Mu mutation what means mutation means mutation means the DNA that makes mass is mutated for example you have a virus mm -hmm. or you have a bacteria mm -hmm. or you have the sunlight UV light hit and give the insult of the cell and leading to SMAD to be damaged. Uh -huh. When the SMAD is damaged and dysfunctioning, the cell will start to become cancer cells. Yeah, so, 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 so basically, usually it has something to do with a microorganism, especially like a virus. Look, we're living in this world and the virus and bacteria is all over us. Mm -hmm. Everywhere. The yeah. air, the water, the food, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And the sunlight can hit and damage the DNA, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So we are living in the physical world that is facing all kinds of potential damages mm -hmm. and the danger. And our cells can be hit and started to have crisis. Okay. But remember Dr. Wang's uh, article also indicated that scientists found that our body is incredibly balanced due to many safeguarding mechanisms. Mm. For example, when the cell is mutated, the cell has those proteins that will be in charge of detecting the mutation and then, you know, ring the alarm clock and then you have a team of repairing proteins mm -hmm. to repair the mistakes. Yeah. And they always try to repair it, okay? Yeah. Look, this this river, this this lake, had some problems. We we saw problems. We call three one one to report it, right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. the body also has a system of safeguarding. It's called a safeguarding mm -hmm. mechanisms. Mm -hmm. So when the body is wrong, you have, you know, you have the safeguarding uh, mechanism activated, mm -hmm. and then they will try to repair. Yeah. Now, when they do not repair on time, if they failed. Yeah. The body will activate another mechanism, which is called <coughs> programmed cell death. Yeah, they they yeah. will let that uh, cell, who's no longer functioning well, to be dead and uh, cleaned out right away to not affect the rest of the cells. The body has those mechanisms. Yeah, yeah. Now, even when the cell escape that, let's say there's a bad cell, and the repair didn't work, and the death program didn't kill it, and it became a bad cell, right? Oh, yeah. It started to become a cancer cell, let's say, okay? Mm. Cancer cell means it become out of control. Mm. The repair didn't work, and execution to that bad cell didn't happen for some reason, and the cell survived, and the cell wanted to do bad things to the rest of the cells. Mm. Even when the cells start to do that, the body has another system to safeguard it. It's just like the human world, for example, if a man, first of all, starting to use drug, mm -hmm. and then, you know, then the, you know, family tried to help him, and he didn't get helped, and then he ran out of home, mm -hmm. and he went on the, onto the street, and he wanted to kill other people, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say. Then usually you have the police officers come to catch him and put mm -hmm. him into jail, right? Yeah. So our body has the same thing. Our body has an immune system. Mm -hmm. So when a cell is bad, the immune system will be activated and then will catch that bad cell and lock it down mm -hmm. and eliminate it. Something mm -hmm. like that, mm -hmm. right? So the scientists in the cancer research field has discovered that this is all happening in the microcosmic world. Mm -hmm. I mean, it is almost like a human world. If you look at the you know, cell level operation, it's very, very incredibly you know, strict. There is law that governs the harmony of the cell community, right? Mm. And so immune system plays a very central role to safeguard, you know, uh, the, the, the balance of the body. Mm. But in the cancer, in the cancer patient, mm. if the cancer truly can kill someone, this is very interesting because nothing works. Mm. In that person's body, nothing works. First of all, the repair doesn't work. The program cell death doesn't work. The immune cell, the immune system doesn't work. And therefore that bad cell start to run all over the body. Mm. And then start to go, you know, into the brain, into the lung, you know, into the bone marrow and metastasize. It's called a metastasize. And then ultimately just kill the person. Okay. So yeah. 
so that's why Dr. Wang, you know, the article says this is very strange. You know, scientists observe that. Mm. Scientists observe that, and scientists cannot answer the question: Why this person can fail everywhere? Mm-hmm. What is going on that make that person fail every level? Not only within the cell, but also the immune system. Yeah. Right? Remember that mm-hmm. article talks about it. Yeah, and then when Dr. Wang was puzzled by that question, Lily called the Dr. Wang.、Mm-hmm. Lily Fan called the Dr. Wang.、Mm-hmm. Hey, you know.、Um, I am not a molecular biologist like you. I did this、uh, study. I have some data. Can you analyze for me? Right.、Mm-hmm. Dr. Wang says, "Sure, send it to me." I am molecular biologist. I know about molecules. They're like my friends. You know,、mm-hmm. I know them. So Lily sent the data to Dr. Wang,、mm-hmm. and the data basically, Dr. Wang only see the numbers.、Mm-hmm. Dr. Wang doesn't know who is who,、mm-hmm. what is what. So it's called a double blind. Okay,、mm-hmm. so Lily sent her data, and Dr. Wang didn't know what is what, and Dr. Wang just look at those data, but that was very fascinating because Dr. Wang started to recognize that there are two groups of data.、Mm-hmm. One group, the second group, and the number is in front of her, and she saw the genes name, and she saw proteasome. Proteasome, okay. Now the proteasome is a protein machine、mm-hmm. inside of the cell、uh-huh. that they are in charge of chopping down proteins into pieces.、Uh-huh. When the protein is bad, the proteasome will make them recycle.、Mm-hmm. Now the protein, what means protein? Protein is like a necklace,、mm-hmm. and so you have a string. And on the string, you have lots of pearls.、Mm. Now, each pearl is amino acid. It's an acid, a small molecule.、Mm. When you have acid, Im- amino acid line up one by one, like a, a pearl necklace.、Mm. You can wrap it around. You can turn into different shapes. You know this, this uh, uh, necklace,、mm. um, you know molecule. That's called a protein.、Mm. What the proteasome does is to basically take the pearls out. Mm-hmm. Chop the string into pieces and take the pearls out, so the pearls can recycle to make another new ne- necklace.、Mm-hmm. Understand? So that's called a proteasome. Proteasome is a machine made by many proteins work together. Their role is to chop the protein into pieces、mm-hmm. for recycling.、Mm-hmm. And so when the protein is bad, then the proteasome is very busy. Let's say in the protein in the cell there are lots of proteins needs to be chopped off. Then the proteasome become very busy chopping, 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 chopping,、mm-hmm. right?、Mm-hmm. And now the proteins are made in another place called a ribosome. Ribosome,、mm-hmm. right? Ribosome. Yesterday、mm-hmm. you also recognize that name.、Mm-hmm. What is ribosome? Ribosome is another machine in the cell that is to make the necklace. What ribosome can do is to put the pearls together onto the stream and eventually turn the Clusters of pearls into a pe- a long string of a, a necklace is called a protein.、Mm. So the two of them are the opposite. One is to make protein; the other is to destroy protein.、Mm. Ribosome is to make the protein; proteasome is to destroy the protein.、Mm. Okay. So what happens is that scientists found out in Boston University,、uh, Mr. Taylor.、Mm. His laboratory did some studies of the mice. His laboratory was interested in learning longevity, mechanism、mm-hmm. of longevity.、Mm-hmm. So they tried different methods to test the mice to see how to make the mice live longer. And when the one of the results was that they found that the mice, if they are not given enough food,、mm-hmm. it's almost like starvation. Not totally starve them to death, but don't give them enough food.、Mm-hmm. So they are more skinny. Right,、mm-hmm. and in any case, those are the mice that lives much longer.、Mm-hmm. So it's called food deprivation, associated with longevity.、Yeah. And then they look at the cell. They found that the proteasome is greatly reduced. Of course, when you don't have enough food,、mm-hmm. you know the cell is not that busy metabolizing. So the proteasome doesn't need to have a lot. Mm-hmm. So the 
Mice with longevity, they have less protein zone. Okay. Now, another group looked at the cancer cells. Mm -hmm. Opposite. The cancer cells are filled with protein zones. The cancer cells, they were going crazy. They were making a lot of garbage protein, and then the proteasome have to chop, 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 nonstop. That is why most of the cancer cells, if you go to hospital, if you see a patient who has cancer, breast cancer, you put the hand onto that cancer mass, mm. hot, very, very hot, okay? Because the cell is busy chopping out garbage fighting, proteins. Fighting, yeah. yeah. Not fighting, but because the cell lost the balance. Mm, yeah. So when the ribosome makes a protein, they make a lot of garbage protein. Uh -huh. And the, the garbage protein, what means garbage protein? They are dysfunctional. They cannot do their job. Mm. So they're very quickly shifted to proteasome to be recycled. So they're making a lot of garbage protein. They're chopping off a lot of garbage protein. They need energy. Mm. Making protein require energy. Chopping off protein will release heat. In any way, it's going to make the, the, uh, make the uh, body very hot. That's why cancer patients, at the end, when before they die, they're usually very skinny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, yeah. they got sucked out. You know, the energy is all turned into, the biological energy basically has been turned into heat. Mm. It's almost like a furnace, like burning alive. The cancer patients are pretty much like being burned alive. Because the entire system was wasteful. Mm. They are just keep on creating garbage and chopping off garbage. Understand? Mm. So Dr. Wong looked at those data and she was shocked by it. Because she found that one group of data mm. showed that the proteasome machinery is down, downsized big time. Not only that, but the ribosome also downsized. What does it mean? Dr. Wang is a molecular biologist. She knows what does it mean. Mm. When the cell doesn't need to make protein, when the cell stops chopping off protein, that means cause, that's called stop metabolism. M metabolism. Mm. When the body stops metabolism, it's called longevity. It's called, you know, mm. stop aging. Mm -hmm. Understand? Yeah. Not only that, but Dr. Wang even more fascinated by something. Because the genes that are involved in immune regulation mm -hmm. also are system level regulated. For example, those antiviral protein mm -hmm. are big time peaked in the, that same group that meta metabolism goes down. Antiviral activities are all peaked anti-HIV is peaked, okay? And also, the, you know, the program, the cell death gene is also peaked. This means those cells can very quickly fight the immune battle and very quickly resolve the inflammation. You know, autoimmune disease, right? Autoimmune disease is because when the invader comes into our body, our immune system starts to fight. Yeah. But the fighting is not very smart. Mm. It's fighting not only against the enemy, but also start to harm our own tissue. That's called autoimmune. Mm -hmm. Because the immune system is supposed to have a mechanism called tolerance. Tolerance means the immune cell will fight against the invader, but will not continue to fight to turn our body into a battlefield. Mm -hmm. Look, if you fight the enemy, mm. if the enemy is already destroyed, you need to very quickly resolve the war and stop, continue to fight mm. and start to recover the normal operation. Yeah, That's yeah. called immunotolerance. Mm. But in those autoimmune patients, they don't know how to end the war. Uh -huh. They keep on fighting. They keep on bombing. And eventually they turn their, their body 